the second part of the video about that 1948 book about measuring techniques. Anyway, uh, page 83, Ampere meeting, the measurement of capacity, capacitance and self-induction. Measurement of transformers and choke coils. The ohmmeter, well, I have already showed that that is not very important nowadays. We have this meter for ohms measurements anyway. So, uh, the principle is of course very simple. We have here a milliampere meter, a DC source and a resistor and of course according to Ohm's law the pointer will move out in a more or less fierce way depending on the resistor value here and of course not to forget the internal resistance of the source the voltage source and that is very important Especially when batteries, car batteries, automotive batteries get old, their internal resistance gets higher. So that means that the maximum current cannot be generated in the circuit, for instance, to the start motor of your car, etc. Anyway, important internal resistance and Another uh, issue about internal resistance, when you have here for instance a uh, amplifier, so not this but an amplifier, let's say this, here an amplifier, amp, and that amplifier is a transistor amplifier. And the internal resistance of that the voltage source could be a battery or whatever gets too high, the transistor amplifier will start to oscillate. The best idea to um, solve that problem is connect a big value electrolytic capacitor of say and, uh, sorry, 1000 microfarad or 3300 zero, zero microfarad. It will damp out all the oscillations in the transistor amplifier. Anyway, beautiful old magazine, very interesting to read. Everything is, is in fact uh, useful nowadays. Shit, in 2019, sorry, 2019. Here again the Wheatstone Bridge that I've, I've explained earlier in the first video. And here we have the very strange situation where in that Wheatstone Bridge, where it's all about balance, and I've told more about that in the first video, we have here a triode tube. Of course, such a triode tube can also act as a kind of resistor. No problem with that. When electrons flow from the cathode to the anode, there is a kind of internal resistance in a triode tube. No problem at all and there are tables about what you can expect with certain uh, triode tubes or pento tubes. Pento tubes are uh, another issue anyway but inside a triode tube you have a certain 
internal resistance. So that means that um, when you connect such a triode tube in a Wheatstone bridge, you can study the properties of the internal resistance here between these two electrodes, the cathode and the anode. Very interesting. Of course, this is a principle of a tube voltmeter, so it shows the principle and uh, uh, what, I, what I've told now is not in fact what the aim is of this circuit, but it shows uh, really the aim of that um, tube voltmeter anyway. And here you see, of course, many other explanations of everything that can happen when a signal enters the grid of a triode. Here and here. This is, in fact, quite strange anyway, that's my opinion. There is a voltage divider here for AC. And of course it will divide the voltage for AC and then it's sent to the grid. But the effect, what happens here in the cathode anode lead is not very clear. Anyway, it's theoretical but important. Theory is always <coughs> the basis of all the practical experiments. And here and here etc. And here we have a kind of open triode grid, a triode tube, I think, anyway. Also interesting, and here and here we see the effect of the resistor that goes to the cathode. And with the help of that resistor, you have a kind of virtual uplifting of the voltage on the grid. So, it's important. The grid has in many cases, or does have to have, a negative voltage in certain applications, but by lifting up the voltage on the cathode, the grid um, goes negative in a certain way. But in my experiments and also on my uh, YouTube channel and also in the uh, circuit that I've published on the Lulu website, I prefer to use a, a potentiometer to get a specific negative grid voltage in case of an audio amplifier. That was my experience, just like the biasing of a transistor. This grid also has to be biased in a very, very precise way when you want to use this circuit as an audio amplifier. Anyway, of course, uh, when you want to use it in a not linear application, that will differ anyway. Here many circuits, the diode triode voltmeter. Uh, this is in fact a, a power supply for a tube radio or whatever. High voltage, low current, uh, a, a coil with a quite high inductance. There are videos on my YouTube channel where I where I explain that better anyway. Um, these values of these capacitors are in fact very low. And when you want to make hi-fi circuits <coughs> nowadays, 2019, and want to use that with a tube, it's better to use a 
a regulated power supply with absolutely no hum. This uh, coil, <coughs> this is in fact the P filter, and it presses the hum down to a certain level. But for hi fi uh, applications, this is not enough. So it's the best thing when you want to make a tube circuit and want to make it real hi fi is that uh, there is absolutely no hum on the high voltage that is going to the anode. So this works, no problem at all, but um, there's a better circuit. And you can use circuits that I've published on my YouTube channel with a transistor. Uh, anyway, I have to say the published the circuits that I published will only work up to say 100 volts or 110 volts. But um, this is a good circuit, but not completely free of hum. 50 hertz or 60 hertz. 50 hertz in Europe, 60 hertz in the US. Universal loudspeaker, well, that's quite simple. Service bank, don't know what it means anyway. Omni testers again, the circuits that, that were published earlier in this uh, magazine. Trim transmitter. Anyway, that was more or less all to tell. I hope it, you liked it. Uh, perhaps I can thump somewhat back, but there's not so much more to tell. <laughs> I've told more or less everything. And such a old magazine is very very interesting and useful in many cases so I will I've taken out my camera out of the stand and perhaps this will show more more precise about all these circuits They are very, very good and very interesting and very useful anyway.